Hey there, what is going on today? I'm going to show you how to make this circle, abstract circle kind of forms. I'm pretty sure you're kind of familiar with this kind of symbol. I mean, uh, it's pretty much all over the internet. It's uh, pretty popular, so I decided to check it out also and uh, eventually came up with uh, different ideas. You know, I just did a quick exploration. So these were the top five um, favorite um, forms. Check it out how smooth is this stuff. It gets a little bit pixelated because the little lines are too thin and gets a little bit awkward But this is what happens if you're using a lot of thin lines. So anyways, I'm gonna create a new artboard somewhere around this zone and uh, Let's go to the circle. You're gonna usually it's shown like this the rectangle Tool and you can select the ellipse tool from here uh, Make sure you're on the stroke right now. I'm on I'm on the fill so I'm gonna press this just swap it and you can see now you're on the stroke. Press and hold Shift plus Alt and make your first circle. As, as you can see now, we got the stroke here. If I press, if I swap again, it swapped to the, what is that? Uh, fill. So this is what we need, the stroke. <coughs> I gotta go up here and increase the thickness of the stroke a little bit like this. Uh, I'm gonna zoom in, create a new copy, press Control C plus control F or you can go also to the object or where the hell is that come on edit there you go paste in front It's in the edit and it's gonna paste a new copy to the front and uh, we're gonna scale this down a little more press and hold shift something I gonna actually gonna scale it down pretty much what if I scale a lot somewhere around here Put it in right in the center. I don't know. I'm going to do it like this. Okay. <clears throat> pretty. This is pretty good so far. I'm going to go to the, of course, we're going to use the blend tool. Go to object, select blend and click on the make. All right. Uh, from here, we're going to go and double click on the blend tool. Click on previews if you didn't select that and select the specified steps. Increase the numbers and you're pretty much in the line game so i'm gonna decrease it a little bit more or you know just test it out because on different sizes if you you're having a different uh, circle size that uh, have has like different dimensions it's gonna you know you're gonna get different results so uh, for me it should be like eight or nine for you i don't know but I'm going to tell you also the size of uh, the width and height of the circle. So it's basically 516 per 500 per 16. So uh, if you want to know like uh, in what uh, dimensions I'm working. But anyways, um, <clears throat> I'm going to go and click on object. And uh, what is that? Expand. Click OK. Press Control C or Control F. Sorry, press Control C and then Control F, or you go back to the edit and paste in front. If you want to work manually, which I don't recommend. Okay, you just scale it down right here at the end and press and hold Shift and you rotate it wherever you want. And as you can see, we just uh, found uh, this looks like an eye actually. Okay. <clears throat> And then there are also these. These kind of work the same. The circles are placed uh, differently. I'm going to show you also that. Actually, I'm going to make it the same size. Press Control C, Control F and scale it down differently. As you can see here, we got like a different spacing. Uh, and, you know, it's, it's just an, on a different place. So we're going to go to the blend, make. <coughs> And we're going to double click on this. Specified steps, increase the numbers. And there you go, we got it. Six copies. Um, yeah, now I'm going to create a new copy, Control C, Control F. I won't expand it anymore because basically you get the same results. Or do we? Yeah, exactly. Oh, snap. I just have a new idea. Check this out. I'm going to rotate it this way and I'm going to press Control C, Control F, press and hold Shift, scale it down. I can do wrapping with this stuff, you know? I can be like Eminem. Okay, so you should scale something like this and it's gonna create an interesting, I don't know what is that, but it looks pretty nice. I love these abstracts, dude, like Control C, Control F. I'm gonna even scale it down even more to see like what is gonna be 
what is going to come out so this is the main uh question you should put all the time actually you need to be curious curious you know to um <clears throat> But yeah, the question like, uh, what if I do this? What if I do that with the format shape? So basically you get new results, but you need to be curious to put the question, right? So then you eventually get some new stuff. Ah, oh, I'm talking too much. So anyways, um, I was also thinking to push this to a next level by, uh, from the beginning, I wanted to change this and, you know, just make it like this, how I did it at the beginning rotate this upside down and just fit it there where, where they basically intersect uh, and this is good like here how it is so you also can see that the lines are getting uh, more thicker in here because um, we don't have enough space already but still looks pretty badass um, I think I'm gonna leave, leave this here <coughs> And uh, thinking to decrease the, I don't know, the size of the stroke, but because right now we're on, let me see if I can decrease it from here. Yeah, of course I can. I'm going to decrease it for, you know, to two. <clears throat> if you don't have this option, the stroke option, you can go to windows and select the stroke right here. And uh, yeah, look at that. Now it's like more visible. I'm going to decrease this to three eventually and or to two and this one to three so uh you know it's like more visible you know more clean and understandable what, what is going on but also you need to i think replace oh no it's perfect actually okay uh what else can you do with this stuff um oh i got a new idea with this and i just gonna go here on the stroke I gotta test something out and go to the profile and select the width profile number one. I'm curious where it's gonna make it thin. So basically it made it thin in this area, which I, I don't necessarily like. I more uh, prefer to be in the top and down, you know, to be um, thick. So I was also thinking like to press this flip, flip it, you know, but you pretty much can't flip with this profile, unfortunately. You can flip this, but uh, it's not well what I want actually. So uh, let me see if I can flip this one. No, I can't. <clears throat> There's like this ugly ass. No. So I'm gonna flip it basically manually. Gonna check it out manually. Actually, I'm thinking to increase the thickness even more here. I don't know. I'm just gonna go wild and make make this zone like pretty. Mm, almost to zero I gotta I mean the thickness is going to be on there you go <clears throat> so it starts to become something interesting already already and I'm gonna see what is gonna turn out because I'm curious uh, so basically this is a freestyle I don't know what the hell I'm doing right now I'm just doing it uh, you just saw the previous I mean the tutorial the main tutorial so you already know what you need to do you all also can you know check out this process eventually what is going to turn out i mean see what is going to turn out and uh yeah eventually get something out of it <clears throat> so yeah so far looks way better than uh that uh, weird profile i was trying out I don't know, I always fail, uh, I always failed on that profile when I tried it, you know, like manual is, is a little bit more better than that one, so. Okay, I created a new copy, gonna increase the stroke even more, I'm gonna check it out, what is going on? Nah, too much. Alright, so, um, let me decrease it even more. but anyways so basically this is the big the big deal you know with this uh form it's uh, really interesting it's abstract so uh yeah uh thanks for watching uh don't forget to check out the other videos also and don't forget to leave a like and subscribe bye bye